Last week, we told you about Sheila Cummings. Her body was found under the floorboards of a West Nashville home in the late 80s. No one knew who she was until DNA technology helped investigators uncover her identity just this summer. Well, similar strides are being made across the country. In Illinois, a detective is using DNA technology to identify the remaining unknown victims of serial killer John Wayne Gacy. As News News Kelly Milan shows us, his work has turned into a model for solving cold cases nationwide. The case has no connection to the one you're about to hear, but both are part of something bigger, a revolution in forensic science. And at the center of the movement is a detective in Cook County, Illinois, working to bring names back to the victims of one of America's most notorious serial killers. John Wayne Gacy murdered 33 young men and boys between 1972 and 1978. He had everybody fooled. He was a business owner who did remodeling work. You know, he remodeled, he'd paint your house for you. And he dressed as a clown and entertained children. He would have these big parties in his backyard, 100, 150 people, he'd barbecue for them. He had a gas barbecue in his backyard. And below that barbecue was a victim that he buried underneath the cement. He was executed in 1994, but the story didn't end there because eight victims were still buried without names. That's when Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart decided to reopen the case in 2011. Detective Lieutenant Jason Moran was tasked to identify the final eight. The sheriff and I talk about this. When do you stop caring? About the, the murder victim from 30 years ago or the missing person from 10 years ago? What is the cutoff on not caring about these individuals? And the answer is uh, there is no cutoff. They exhumed the eight bodies around 2011 through much investigative work, mostly using contemporary DNA technology. Moran was able to identify three of the eight Gacy victims so far. The most recent, Francis Wayne Alexander, a 22-year-old who moved to Chicago in 1975 and vanished a year later. That's why the... the, the Genetic genealogy was very important here. For Moran, he makes one thing clear. It was never about the killer. I don't even refer to Gacy in my correspondence and never have as, as Gacy. I, I refer to him as JWG because I don't want to bring any attention to the killer. It's about the victims. Since he started identifying Gacy victims, Moran has gotten hundreds and hundreds of tips. So far, Moran has helped clear 11 unrelated cold cases across the country. In other states, he helped confirm deaths. And in some cases, he found missing men still alive. Because if we did not reopen the Gacy case to identify his unidentified victims, these other young men's cases would not have been resolved. The work done by the Cook County Sheriff's Department is now becoming a model for something new, using what's old to change what's next, hoping other departments across the country are thinking the same. Look, Cook County was able to do it. Maybe we could try too. Three of Gacy's unknown victims have now been identified since they exhumed the bodies in 2011. Five still remain. As for Lieutenant Moran, the mission continues, in his words, for the victims and families still waiting. Bob, 